Page 135. Testing after assembly computer. When the computer is fully assembled, it is necessary to test if all computer devices are installed correctly and can be used by starting from Number 1. Plug the cable into the outlet firmly. Number 2. Press the power switch at the front of the case. Number 3. The computer will begin logging in. Start by checking the device through a process called POST, Power On Self Test, and start the boot up with the following steps. Number 3.1. After press the power on button, the power supply will supply the electrical power to any various devices inside the computer by sending signal start the CPU. Number 3.2. The CPU enables BIOS to run. The CPU will attempt to access data stored in the BIOS in order to run as a set of commands stored. Page 136. Number 3.3. The system starts the POST process to check devices, which is in part of the BIOS command to check the availability of the devices installed in the machine includes mainboard, RAM, CPU, and other peripherals such as keyboard or mouse. The results of this examination can be seen from the text appeared on the screen and audio signals that the computer sends out. The signal is called beep code, which is useful in case of the screen cannot be displayed. Usually, if the checking process is completely done without any problems, it will send a short beep one time. If there is something wrong, the computer will send the signal that has a short or long code depends on an error found. For example, if there is an error about the video card, it will send signal that has one long and three short beep. Each version and each brand of BIOS will have different signals. Number 3.4. The result of the post will be compared with data stored in the CMOS. The devices are installed in the machine or configuration value is stored in the memory unit called CMOS. Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor, which uses a small amount of electricity supply from a small battery on the main board to make computer able to recognize values. The results of the post will be compared with CMOS data. If they are correctly matched, the system will continue to run, but if there is an error occurred, it will prompt the user to edit data. Page 137. Number 3.5. Next step, BIOS will read program for booting the operating system from the first sector of your hard disk, floppy disk, or CD-ROM. BIOS has the ability to communicate with those devices. Number 3.6. BIOS will load an important part of operating system file, called kernel, to store in main memory, or RAM, of the computer. Number 3.7. Last step, operating system in the memory unit will control the computer and display the results. Kernel that is transferred into memory unit will control the overall operation of computer and load various configuration values as well as display an output to the screen and waiting to receive commands in order to continue work. Connecting external peripherals can be monitored from post process. If the computer cannot boot into the operating system, it will display error messages or signals an error to correct errors that occurred. For example, if there is an error message of the keyboard, it has to check whether the keyboard is plugged correctly or not, or the keyboard is not working, or sending signal warning that RAM is not plugged properly, or RAM installed on the mainboard is not compatible. If the user understands the verification process, he will be able to analyze and solve problems faster.